With the coronavirus pandemic seemingly in the rearview mirror, thousands upon thousands of people coming to Israel over the last week for the annual LGBTQ plus pride festivities. And the last week of celebrations culminating Friday with the 22nd annual parade, one of the largest in the world. Over 170,000 in attendance, waving flags, dancing to the music, enjoying the sights and artistic floats, and generally celebrating the freedom to love whom we choose, a right that's not often afforded in this part of the world outside of Israel. Despite accusations of pinkwashing, though, three world-famous musical artists from abroad coming to perform at the Tel Aviv event and to see Israel for themselves, and most notably Australian-American rap star Iggy Azalea. In fact, Azalea now famously outright rejecting calls to cancel her trip, her first ever official visit to Israel, saying, quote, BDS, what's that? The artist then adding that she doesn't know much about Israel and therefore insisted on coming to see and experience things for herself, especially after her concert in Turkey changed her perspective of performing abroad. Azalea quoted saying, I was really nervous that no one would know the words to my songs, but in the end, it was one of the best shows I've ever done in my life and I hope that my experience in Israel will be as good or even better. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.